Hello guys and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perfectly use markers in Premiere Pro. A marker is a great way to organize your project when editing in Premiere Pro. And as you can see over here, I have markers at the top of my timeline over here. I also have markers on my clip over here. I have markers on my program monitor over here. And I also have markers on my source monitor over here. And if you pay close attention, you will notice that each marker also has description. Here I have add text, I have delete. And you also notice that these are extended markers, which means that I can stretch them for as long as I want them to be. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and delete all these markers over here. So to create a marker, the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure that no clip is selected. So right now a clip is selected over here, so I'm going to deselect it by clicking somewhere else on the timeline and this is going to help me to create markers at the top of my timeline. Now if I hit M, you will notice that a marker has been created here and it has also been created on my program monitor over here. Now to give description to this marker or to label it, I'm going to double tap it and now over here I can give this a name. For example, I can name this delete. I can also pick a color. Let's say I want to go with white. You can also give it a description and hit OK. And you'll notice that the color has automatically turned to white. Now to extend this marker, all you need to do is to hold down Alt on PC or Option on Mac and extend this marker. And now I can extend it to the entire duration of this clip over here. But if you want to place a marker on a clip on your timeline, all you need to do is to select that clip and hit M on your keyboard and you'll notice that a marker has been created on that clip and a marker has also been created on your source monitor over here. So to label that marker, I can just double tap on it on my source monitor over here and the same window will pop up. Now I can give this a name and say color later. You can also add description and you can give this a color. I'm probably going to leave this as blue and hit OK. And now over here in my source monitor, I can also select it and hold down Alt and extend this marker to my preferred duration. And you will notice that the name is also there, color later. And you will notice that it's also on my clip over here. So remember, if you want to create more markers on the top of your timeline over here, make sure that no clip is selected and move your playhead to where you want to create that marker. Make sure that no clip is selected and hit M on your keyboard and select that marker. Double tap it to label the marker. I'm probably going to make this yellow and hit OK. And scroll down to that marker and hit Alt on PC and drag it to extend it. You can hit Ctrl, Shift and M on your keyboard to move back to the previous marker and you can hit Shift and M on your keyboard to move forward to the next marker. If you hit on a marker once, your playhead will move to the start of that marker. To delete a marker, all you need to do is to select that marker, right click and hit Clear Markers or Clear Selected Marker. So if I hit Clear Selected Marker, is going to delete only that marker. But if I want to delete all my markers, I'm just going to select the top of my timeline over here and make sure that no clip is selected. At this point, this clip over here is selected. I'm going to select a neutral portion over here. Right click the top of my program monitor over here and hit clear markers. And that has cleared the other markers here. Now to clear the markers on a particular clip, all you need to do is to go over to the marker on your source monitor, right click and select clear marker. And that's it guys on how to use markers in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial tomorrow.